I am in my 40s. I am married. I have two kids, but nothing makes me older than when I realize I no longer understand the slang terms that teenagers are using. And it seems like these days, teen slang terms evolve so fast that it's impossible to keep up. So as a service to you, as a service to me, we decided to give you a primer on new teen slang terms in a segment we call Seth Explains Teen Slang. <laughs> Our first new teen slang term is licorice. Let's see the definition. It's a drink you cobble together for a party when you're not old enough to buy alcohol. Here it is in a sentence. I thought Jeremy's party was going to be a bust until he was able to find some cooking sherry, a half bottle of bitters, and some cool mint Listerine. Hashtag licorice. <laughs> Up next, it's prom cruise. This is the kid who rides to prom clinging to the outside of a limo. <laughs> Let's see it in a sentence. Our stretch Escalade had plenty of seats, but Steve still insisted on hanging off the side the whole ride to the Hilton. That boy at prom cruise. Hashtag does his own stunts. Next up, we have Movie Pass. Here it is in the definition uh, someone whose source of income is unclear. <laughs> For example, how does Nick afford to buy new kicks like every week? He's never worked a day in his life. Both his parents are teachers. I think that Movie Pass is selling drugs or something. <laughs> this next teen slang term was inspired by the restaurant chain, the Cheesecake Factory. It's the Beefcake Factory. Let's see the definition. It's a party with so many hot guys, you get overwhelmed by all the options. <laughs> Someone likes the Beefcake Factory. <laughs> For example, I went to Jen's place last night, but it was such a Beefcake Factory that by the time I looked at everyone on the menu, it was time to go home. <laughs> this next one's really blowing up with the teens. It's Johnny Strep. Let's see the definition. It's someone who wears too many scarves when they have a fever. Here it is in a sentence. Tim got a sore throat, and that Johnny Strep showed up to school looking like Steven Tyler's mic stand. <laughs> Moving on, we have Volstoy. This is when you smoke so much weed, you start sounding Russian. <laughs> For example, Brandon got so high at the park, he started rolling his R's and dropping articles. Most of the time, all he said was, what's his problem? We good, yes? <laughs> Hashtag Volstoy. Next up, it's Christopher Robin. This is a sophomore who still talks to his stuffed animals. <laughs> For example, I think Jason might be a Christopher Robin. I saw him with his head in his locker whispering to a teddy bear, hashtag, oh, bother. <laughs> Our next new teen slang term is blockbuster. Let's see the definition. It's the teacher who always plays VHS tapes in class. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Our science teacher, Mr. Snyder, showed us Total Recall for the fourth time this semester. He a blockbuster and also very hungover. <laughs> and our last new teen slang term is Barack Obama. This is an ex who has clearly moved on. <laughs> Here it is in a sentence. Checked Instagram to see if Noah was sad about our breakup, but all I saw was a video of him dancing at a Beyonce concert with his new girlfriend. Hashtag Barack Obama. <laughs> this has been Seven Place Teen Slang.